corporate tax cut is a kindly help to realtors. That's off the tax savings of nearly 5% is used to cut the large debt on their balance sheets. Debt reduction will help secure a better credit rating and make it easier to secure funds. So how are realtors planning to make the most of the tax relief? Let's ask Mr. Atul Goyal of Brigade Enterprises. Uh, Mr. Goel, thanks very much for taking off the time uh, and speaking with us. Uh, let's start off first with the, the big benefit that comes in for Brigade Enterprises. You know, uh, first, if you could quantify that for us. And secondly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you will actually go and avail of this uh, effective tax rate of 25%. Yeah, so we are analyzing uh, uh, the tax uh, benefit for us. See, uh, actually, we are, uh, our business is more into mid-income affordable housing and as you know of in affordable housing you have an ATI IB benefit and as well as uh, we have SEZ uh, properties which are being uh, which are being uh, uh, constructed and there will be an SEZ benefit will be available so yes uh, uh, if you see in brigade uh, tax rate right now is around 23-24% uh, it's only because we were ATIB benefits uh, from our earlier projects we have some more projects of ATIB, uh, which is uh, going to, to come in brigade. So we are analyzing that as to uh, if there is a profit, more profit for them and it's beneficial to uh, do the current tax, we'll go into that uh, because this 22% you can opt any time uh, uh, next year or uh, maybe the time when you uh, st stop availing uh, ATIB benefits. But yes, some of the subsidiary we don't have uh, affordable housing it will be benefit uh, they'll be benefit and will be shipped to 22 percent uh, maximum uh, maximum uh, uh, companies which are on SEZ uh, platform uh, it doesn't make the right uh, sense to uh, to 22 percent because the 100 percent program may there may be some mat which later on when we uh, get a depreciation uh, uh, low down then maybe we can take the mat credit later on and then shift to 22%. So I think for us it is a mixed bag right now. Um, mainly some of the support will move 22% but luckily, uh, we, we may get into the current tax. DL we are, uh, uh, we are analyzing and uh, maybe by uh, year end maybe because we are uh, if you discuss 22% you should have a you know, five six years uh, 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 calculations of profit which you are going to the launches. So we are and I think DL uh, we may decide at the moment to go on 22% or not. Okay, so uh, you know, like you said, you're still analyzing the numbers, but you know, the first the first impression that one gets, is especially from uh, you know uh, a real estate standpoint, is if there is any incremental savings, and that savings can be used immediately to bring down debt, which affects the credit rating positively, which again then makes financing for the future that much more easy. Is that a route that you would also be contemplating? Uh, definitely, definitely. This will if we. Tax saving, there is a uh, definitely and will definitely uh, be uh, used to pay down the debt so that uh, 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 credit rating of uh, developers go up. Yes, the, I think if uh, we also have that benefit, we'll definitely try to do that. What is the current debt on the books? If you could highlight that for we us, we have around three thousand. Yeah, we have around three thousand one hundred crores of debt in our books, but maximum of them is uh, in uh, leasing portfolio because there are two large capex projects which has uh, which is being made in SZ in uh, joint with uh, GIC so uh, i think um, uh, half of our debt is uh, in the uh, in the lease and if you see around 1500 uh, is is in lrds or a uh, profit backed hotels which is and it's not affecting the bill uh, cash flows. Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the business now, uh, sir, and uh, what is uh, the game plan with regards to the annuity business? So annuity business, see, we already have a 3.3 .3 million square feet of uh, uh, ready properties and leased. We are doing around 5.5% uh, 5, 5 of 5.5 uh, million of uh, of uh, commercial space uh, uh, space in the uh, in the SZ area, and again we have uh, one more land where we can do 2.07 to 2.5. So I think this is earlier. Uh, this is right now. Uh, 
concentrating on building these properties and uh, leasing this out. Uh, once uh, we are through this, maybe then uh, uh, we can uh, uh, look at monetizing maybe through REITs or some other uh, other uh, possible ways. But I think it is at least four years away right now uh, for BL. All right. Uh, but, uh, but your target growth rate would be what, 18 to 20 percent for the annuity business on a yearly basis? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely it will be around 18 to 20 percent. All right. And when you say you're going to consider REITs, is that uh, also some time away or, or it could happen yeah, sooner so, rather than later? So as I said, uh, REITs are at least four years away. Okay. Uh, we want to come into the market only when we have at least sizable uh, number of properties, at least 10 million. So I think between the three to four years, we'll be into the 10 million category and a revenue of around 1,000 crores. I think that will be the apt time to come into the REIT that time. Mm. What uh, What is your intention with regards to the residential business in terms of uh, how much you intend to scale it up? And, uh, you know, we were pegging a growth rate of 33% uh, for the residential business in FY20. Is that realistic enough? Yeah, see, uh, uh, I think uh, 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 there is a talk of slowdown, but uh, since we are into uh, real estate, uh, mid-income housing and affordable housing, uh, uh, they have been doing well. I think uh, um, uh, further... Uh, there is a there is a uh, external benchmarking which uh, uh, which banks are going to do on uh, on home loans and SBI is already announced from first October. So I think this should also fuel demand uh, in the economy because you will be seeing one of the lowest uh, home loan rates in decades uh, coming in. And thirdly, is that there is a consolidation happening into the developers and uh, and uh, uh, the, the original or uh, you can say uh, developers, A grade developers are garnering more business, more sales. And uh, third thing is that if you have a right price, right place and right size, uh, so uh, properties are still selling. So uh, we brigade as such uh, has been in middle income housing and uh, and uh, affordable housing. So I think demand is there and, and it, it should be, uh, it should grow. As for luxury housing, yes, uh, the demand is slow and that will continue to slow. But we are not much in uh, luxury housing, around 7-8% of our total inventory is in uh, luxury housing. So I think we will maintain whatever guidance we had given of around 4 million uh, this year. And uh, we we are in line with the uh, in quarter two also. And I think uh, we should achieve that. Okay, just one uh, two-part question, not related, but uh, we're running out of time, so just uh, squeezing that in. Uh, firstly, in terms of funding requirements at your end, uh, is there any pressure at all? And secondly, I mean, while maybe not applicable to you, but what did you make of the finance minister's, uh, you know, announcement with regards to a special window for stalled projects and, uh, you know, a contribution that the government will make and then as well as the private sector to, uh, to match that? Uh, see, uh, first uh, about the financing, I don't think so we are facing any issues. Banks are uh, coming uh, forward to lend to grade A developers who, are, who have a good rating of A and above. And I think uh, we have a quite traction from banks and we are one of the uh, PSU bankers are one of our larger renter, uh, lenders as well as private banks and we we, uh, we have a very uh, nominal uh, NBFC portfolio so I don't think so we are taking and we are looking at any uh, any issue in that. Yeah, interest rate uh, hike has been there uh, in last one year uh, but still at 9.7 we are competitive in the market. As far as stress fund is concerned, I think uh, the, the problem is that, see, today you have a, a completed inventory of 1.84 lakh homes in India. Out of these 1.24 lakh homes are in, in Delhi NCR, and most of them are into NCLT and NPS. So this stress fund uh, does not uh, cover those NCL, NCLT and NPS. So, the, so I think uh, that government should look into because uh, then only they can help the developers. Uh, it is still an announcement. We are still, uh, there has to be uh, a blueprint which has to come and I think uh, we'll look into the blueprint and see. But it's a good effort by the government. I think they should do it uh, very fast. Otherwise, uh, other stress developers may also go into NPA or into the, uh, into the, uh, into the NCLT and uh, problem may compound. 
Mm, I think, but it will help uh, uh, other than NCR uh, builders where uh, people uh, have taken loan and they have uh, uh, they have uh, at least uh, uh, completed 60-70% of the project but they have not been able to sell because the market and banks are not willing to lend or if they have an NBFC loan, there, there is a problem. So they are definitely like, uh, last mile uh, funding and help to complete their projects.